Hey, what is up? Welcome back, Design Squad. And today I have something super cool to share with you. It's a recent discovery of mine, but I'm pretty damn sure it's gonna be super effective in your design work and production work. And specifically, I'm talking about this plugin for the illustration. Now, as you can see on my screen, I have this mock-up. Imagine that this is my a dummy work in hand, which I basically want to bring up to life. Maybe it's a wireframe, maybe it's already a high fidelity work, which I just need to start adding some sort of content, right? And I'm thinking like, hey, maybe this could actually be some sort of illustration to bring this type of message to life. And so of course, I shared with you a lot of different plugins and resources for illustrations, but I haven't touched blush with no affiliation an ecosystem for illustration by Pablo Stanley, whose illustration and design were Tuozo, if you ask me. And so what he and his team and some contributors came up with is this collection of different illustrations we can just basically assemble. And let me just demonstrate it. So if you would go to blush.design, you could go into create a doodle option, which is number one, and you can basically assemble, make an illustration on the go, choosing the elements. It's almost like if you remember one of my actual uh, prototyping challenges where I asked you to combine different bits and just choose different properties to assemble a new organism. For example, if this is something I like, I can share or download and then use that in my design work. So that's super simple, right? I can then basically work with it and, and make something of it. In a couple of seconds to create the illustration and a minute to just reassemble, maybe this is the look I'm after for my online shop, right? Maybe that's something you are after as well. But the better bit and really what I want to share with you today is the plugin. So if I go back, I'm going to install it for Figma. You can do a sketch, it doesn't really matter. For going forward, I'm going to touch more on Figma stuff because my team is auto transition into Figma from Sketch, which I'm super excited. And so I'm going to probably dig deeper just to understand what it's like and understand it much, much better. But if you install that plugin, now I have all these collections I can choose from and import that as a scene and so maybe something like that is what you're after for your shop, let's say. It doesn't look too bad, does it? And of course, worth mentioning is that you can actually browse by artist, you can browse by collection, you can search if you know exactly what you're looking for. You can select what sort of formats, so for example, SVGs, which you can then edit, you can then add your own touch to the files, but I'm just gonna keep it at that as SVG and just gonna find something which looks, for example, something very different, like hand-drawn, immediately drop it in and just assemble my new composition like so. There's also these awesome randomization options. If I click randomize, you're gonna notice that it reloads the illustration of different type of composition and elements. So you can come up with so many different variants, which you can, for example, test it with your team, if your users come up with something better, basically do a better content design on the go for your illustrations. And just lastly, one, one another example just to show the flexibility and why it's so cool as an application, as a widget to add. For example, if I would select something like a city, I have a lot of different scenes to choose from. I, am, I just chose downtown. I can select the background, for example, to the horizon if I want to add something to it. I can just go building by building and basically just rejig it all together. So almost every set comes with some sort of customization options. And as you can see, I can basically select different person, let's say, like that one, and then edit even their emotions, accessories, if we have any facial hair, so I can customize it even further. There's a lot of work has been done behind the scenes, obviously, to make this happen so that people like yourself who do product or UI design can literally just drag it in, customize it, and then maybe prototype or, you know, take it into production. It's super awesome, super cool. As per usual, I would recommend you to explore the tool yourself and make a decision if it's right for you. And if you ask me, I think it's a no brainer to add to your toolkit. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. And on that note, and as per usual, I'll see you next time.